Snakes are reptiles that are part of the snake family. They are found on almost every continent in the world except Antarctica. Snakes have elongated, scaly bodies, as well as a distinctive head and movable jaws. It is the only animal in the world capable of swallowing, without the need to chew, prey larger than its head. They also have venomous teeth, which they use to capture their prey and defend themselves against predators. There are many species of snakes, each with its own unique characteristics. Some are poisonous, some are not. Some snakes are arboreal, while others are terrestrial or aquatic. Some snakes are small and inconspicuous, while others are large and colorful. Although many people fear snakes, they play important roles in nature as controllers of people, prey and agents of pollination. Furthermore, many species of snakes are endangered due to habitat loss and poaching. It is important to remember not to approach or touch wild snakes as they can be dangerous. If you find a snake, it's best to leave it alone and watch it from afar. Here are some examples of arboreal snakes. The green leaf snake, Chrysopelia paradisi, also known as the flying snake, is found in Asia and Africa. She is bright green in color and is able to fly from tree to tree through long, flat jumps. The coral tree snake, Dendroaspis polylepis, is a venomous species found in Africa. She has a red and black color and is known to climb trees and branches to hunt. The yellow-crested snake, Spilos pilatus, is found in Latin America. She has a brown or gray color with a yellow crest along the spine. She is known to be arboreal and hides among the leaves. The tree python snake, Python cebi, is found in Africa and is known to be one of the largest tree snake species. She has a brown or gray color and is able to climb trees and branches to hunt and hide. These are just a few of the many tree snake species found around the world, each with its own unique characteristics. Here are some examples of land snakes. The gray snake, Pantherophis spiloids, is found in North America and has a gray or brown color. It is known to be a nocturnal snake and is commonly found in forested areas and open fields. The sand snake, Crotalus cerastes, is found in the southwestern U.S. desert and in Mexico. It has a brown or yellow color and is able to camouflage itself in the sand on its prey. The water snake, Nerodia sp is found in North America and is a semi-aquatic snake. It has a brown or gray color and is commonly found in rivers, lakes, and swamps. The rock snake, Vituophis cadmifer, is found in North America and has a brown or gray color. She is known to hide among rocks and is commonly found in mountainous areas. The scorpion snake, Bytus aritans, is found in Africa and is one of the most venomous species on the continent. It has a brown or gray color with dark spots and is known to hide among vegetation and rocks. Now let's see some examples of water snakes. The coral water snake, Notechus scutatus, is found in Australia and is one of the most venomous species in the world. It has a brown or gray color with red or yellow spots and is commonly found in rivers, lakes and swamps. A coral sea snake, Hydrophis sp, is found in the Indian Ocean and the Pacific. She has a brown or gray color and is able to swim in salt water. The green water snake, Philothamnus hoplogaster, is found in Africa and has a bright green color. It is known to be a freshwater snake and is commonly found in rivers and lakes. The water python snake, Anhydrus sp, is found in Asia and is a species similar to the freshwater snake. It has a brown or gray color and is commonly found in rivers and lakes. These are just a few of the many snake species found across the world, each with their own unique characteristics. It is important to remember that some water snakes are venomous and some are not. It is always important to keep your distance and not try to touch them unless you are a trained professional to handle these species. The reticulated python snake, Python reticulatus, is considered the largest species of snake in the world and can measure more than 10 meters in length and weigh more than 250 kilograms. They are found in Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia and the Philippines and are known for their imposing size and their ability to swallow large prey such as wild pigs and monkeys. Another snake that can also become quite large is the green anaconda, Unexmurinus. This snake is found in South America 
specifically in the Amazon, can measure up to 9 meters in length and weigh more than 250 kilograms. It is known to be a semi-aquatic snake and is one of the largest snakes in the world. It is important to note that these snakes reach these sizes, and generally the snakes that are found are smaller. These sizes are the maximum recorded and are considered as distinct. On the other hand, the smallest species of snake in the world is the green-armed snake, Leptotyphlops carli, also known as the worm snake. It is found on the island of Barbados and measures about 10 centimeters in length. It is considered to be the smallest known snake as it is very small and has an appearance closer to an earthworm than a snake. She is completely harmless and feeds on earthworms and other invertebrates. If you've watched this far, it's a sign that you're enjoying the content. Please leave your like on the video. A snake's digestion time can vary depending on several factors, such as the size of the prey, the species of snake and the temperature of the environment. In general, a snake's digestion can take anywhere from a few hours to several days. For example, a reticulated python that swallows a wild pig can take anywhere from a few days to a week to fully digest the prey. This is due to the fact that snakes do not have movable jaws. They have to wait for the prey to be partially digested before swallowing more. And the proteins and vitamins present in pork meat are more difficult to digest. A snake that feeds on smaller prey, such as mice or guinea pigs, can completely digest its prey in a matter of hours. It is important to note that after digestion, snakes can go without food for a prolonged period as they store fat in their bodies to use as a source of energy. Reproduction of snakes occurs in several ways, depending on the species. Some species of snakes are ovoviviparous, which means they have produced eggs that hatch inside. The female's body and the young are born alive. Other species are oviparous, which means they have kept eggs that are deposited outside. The female's body and the young are born after they hatch. Some species are also viviparous, meaning they give birth to live young. Most snake species are oviparous and adopt the eggs in nests or hidden places where they are left to develop alone. Some species keep the eggs until they hatch, while others leave them shortly after laying. Reproduction in snakes usually begins with mating, where males use their tails to attract females through a dance called the mating dance. After they mate, the females lay the eggs and deposit them in nests or other safe places where the eggs will develop until hatching. It is important to note that some species of snakes, such as python snakes and water snakes, are known to be nest caretakers, where the female remains with the eggs to protect them until they hatch. Already subscribed to the channel? If you haven't signed up yet, now is the time. Snakes have several natural predators depending on the species and the environment in which they live. Some of the biggest snake predators are foxes, wild dogs, wolves and other carnivorous animals that may eat snakes, birds of prey such as eagles, hawks and hawks, which may hunt snakes in flight, other snakes, especially the larger species, which may prey on other smaller species, alligators, crocodiles and other aquatic reptiles that may feed on aquatic snakes, monkeys, armadillos and other animals that may feed on tree snakes, men, who can capture or kill snakes for their skin or to control groups of snakes. The role of predator varies from species to species. Some species of snakes are more related to predators than others, and some species can defend themselves using their venom. It is worth remembering that ecosystems are complex and all living beings play an important role in nature, even predators. The extinction of any species can cause ecological imbalances and affect the lives of other species. The average lifespan of snakes varies widely depending on the species. Some species of snakes can only live a few years, while others can live for more than 20 years. For example, the green-armed snake, Leptotyphlops carli, has an average lifespan of around seven years. The reticulated python snake, Python reticulatus, has an average life expectancy of about 20 to 25 years. Most snake species live between 10 to 15 years, but some can live longer. It is important to note that these are the average life expectancies for snakes in their natural habitat. But in captivity, snakes can live longer due to medical care and proper nutrition. 
but these snakes may not have as good a quality of life. It is also important to remember that the lifespan of snakes can be borne by many factors such as disease, weather conditions, predators and human interference. We humans use the knowledge about snakes in many ways. Some of them are Pest control Snakes are used to control the population of other animals such as rats, guinea pigs and other rodents that can cause damage to crops and property. Medicine The venom of some species of snakes is used to treat illnesses and medical conditions such as high blood pressure, pain, and blood clots. Skin and leather Snake skin and leather are used to make clothing, shoes, bags, and other fashion accessories. Education and research Snakes are studied to better understand their biology, ecology and behavior, and this information is used to improve species conservation and to teach people about snakes. Entertainment Snakes are used in circus shows and zoos to entertain people. One more disclaimer worth remembering is that snakes must be used responsibly and ethically, respecting their lives and their natural habitat. Irresponsibly capturing snakes can cause their population to decline and harm the ecosystem. In summary, snakes are fascinating and complex animals with a variety of habitats, life forms and behaviors. They are arboreal, terrestrial and aquatic species. While some snakes are a huge and can swallow animals whole, others are so small they can fit in the palm of your hand. All snakes reproduce in different ways, and some species live for over 20 years. Over the centuries, snakes have been the object of human fear and fascination, but it is important to remember that they have played important roles in ecology and maintaining ecological balance. In addition, we use snakes for medicinal purposes and in agriculture. In this video, we seek to introduce you to a different side of snakes, showing their biodiversity and ecological importance. If you enjoyed knowing more about this fascinating and unknown world, share it with your friends and family. Inspire them to know more about nature and its wild animals.